Hey guys, it's Austin here with Outcheaping. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a 1 inch Rockford Fosca tweeter in your Jeep Cherokee XJ. Now, today we're going to be installing it on a 9701 Jeep Cherokee, and I'm going to show you a good place you can install it in the door panel where it looks pretty good. Now, if you guys aren't aware, on the Jeep Cherokee Limiteds, they actually did come with an Infinity sound system, and with that, they actually came with uh, tweeters that were in the corners right behind where the mirror goes on the door panel. Now those are kind of hard to come by and they don't make them so doing this is going to be a cheap alternative and it's going to sound just as good if not better. So let's get started and take a look what we got. So looking at these tweeters real quick, um, on the back side it shows all the dimensions on what you're going to need. So they got a couple ways on how you can mount this. We're going to do the flush mount and what you're going to need for that is actually a 2 inch hole saw. It's going to make it pretty simple. All we have to do is cut a hole in our door panel and pop these in and then screw it in from the back side and then wire it up and then it should be all good. So looking inside. As you can see, we got our two tweeters, and this is the flush mount that we're actually gonna be using. And the way these come apart is they just twist a little bit, and then they come out in two halves like that. So when we put this in, this is gonna go on the back side, this is gonna go on the front side to give it a nice clean appearance. And to lock it in place from not popping out, they have these little clips right here. You push these on the back side and it digs into the plastic, and that way it should be a nice firm fit. Now they do have these mounts right here if you want an external look. Uh, basically you can screw this down to any surface. It's basically on a 45 degree angle. You can uh, simply pop in your tweeter just like that, screw it in, and then that way you can have it in any uh, location you want. But for today, we're just gonna do the uh, flush mount because I think it looks a lot better. All right, so looking at the front door panels here, um, what I was talking about before with the Infinity sound system, if your Jeep's equipped with that, they're going to be a little triangle piece right here, and it's just going to have a little tweeter molded inside there. They're pretty rare, and people want a lot of money for them. You can sometimes see them on eBay. But the alternative today, we're just going to put one in the door panel. I've actually done this on my other Jeep, and I found that the best spot is actually right over here in this area. And the reason why I'm going to be putting it over here is because right behind this plastic panel, you got the shell of the door. And the shell of the door actually has an indent right in this area, so you can actually put it at whatever height you want. And that should allow enough clearance for the back of the tweeter not to contact anything, and you should have plenty of room. And also by putting it over here, it's more closer to your face, so it's not going to be down low by your feet. Um, because we all know that it you know, doesn't really sound good with these speakers way down low. You want something up high and kind of more in your face. So... By putting it over here, you can actually adjust the tweeter so it comes out on an angle and faces up towards you. And the way it uh, hits the other dash panel right here, it kind of reflects the sound a lot better, I found out in my other Jeep. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to remove this door panel. We got three Phillips screws on the bottom, one here in the door handle, and then one here in the top corner. We're going to pop that off, and then we're going to measure out where we're going to cut our hole and then drill it. Now if you have a plastic clip removal tool, now's the time to do it because the rest of this door panel is held in by plastic Christmas tree clips on the back side. But uh, I don't have one and it's already coming up so you can just take it and pop it out. Once you get it loose, lift up so it comes out of that top window seal. And then we just got our two door rods. You're gonna have to pop off those safety clips. Then we got our two electrical connectors on the back of here if you have the option of power windows and doors. All right, now you can remove that. All right, so peeling away this uh, plastic right here, you can kind of see where it's indented in the door frame right here. And that's where we're gonna to wanna to install our tweeter. That way it should have enough room so it's not contacting. And as far as wiring, all Jeep Cherokees, no matter if you had the tweeters or not, actually came with this option of, so basically we just have an empty plug right here and all we would have to do is cut off the plug and wire in our new wires that go to the tweeter. 
Unfortunately, on this Jeep, I'm not gonna be able to do that because when I wired in the aftermarket door speakers, I actually ran new wires that go through the whole entire uh, hinge because they're broken and such. So this actually is no longer uh, have power going to it. So I'm just gonna have to splice it into the new wires that I put down here. All right, so I got the door panel laid out on the ground here and I basically just copied the measurements on what I did on my other Jeep because that seemed to work good as well. Um, but the measurements are six and a quarter inches down from this top lip all the way down to here. And then I got three and a half inches coming over here horizontally and then I matched it up right there. So I'm just gonna take my two inch hole saw and cut this hole out. So with the hole all drilled, we can test fit it. Basically, we got this outer ring in here. It does have a little bit of play in it, um, but that's the only hole saw that I have that would actually fit. Um, if you can find a one and seven eighths, that might fit a little bit better, but this works just fine. It's not gonna pop through or anything. So the next step is I'm actually gonna go wire the tweeter into the Jeep. That way it's all ready to go. When we put the door panel on, we can just pop it all back into place. All right, so I'm gonna go wire in this tweeter. Um, normally you can just use this clip that's right over here. Just cut off that plug, like I said earlier, and just tap your wires in. But I'm gonna actually have to remove this speaker right here and tap it into the wires that go directly to there. So I'm just gonna remove this real quick. <laughs> just gonna disconnect that for now and set it to the side. All right, so for these wires, I have a connection right here. I'm just gonna get rid of that, so that way I only have one connection um, with the tweeters going into here. So I'm just gonna take a, a wire cutters and cut this connection off. And then I'm gonna strip the ends of all the wires and twist them on the ends so that they don't fray. So before I wire in the tweeter, I'm actually gonna run the tweeter's wire through this access hole where there's other uh, wires going down in here. That way it should come down in the door panel and meet up with these wires down here. And I'm just gonna pull this through and I am gonna have to shorten up this wire because it does come with about six feet of it. And then I'm just gonna leave it here on the end so that I have about six to eight inches out from where it comes out of this end right here. And that should give me enough room so that way when I remove the door panel um, another time, I don't accidentally yank out the speaker. And once again down here, I'm just gonna give plenty of slack so I have room to wire this in and then just cut it where it needs to go. So now you wanna make sure you don't mix up your positive and negatives. Um, I got it on here because uh, for this speaker it came with a white one that's positive and for the tweeter the red one's going to be positive. So I'm just going to twist these guys together and then for this I'm just going to use some uh, butt connectors right here. These are thin enough so they should fit into this blue size and then crimp it down. Now before I crimp these to the harness that comes out of the Jeep I'm going to slide over some uh, heat shrink connectors that way this is nice and watertight. Then these can be crimped down. All right, so since these uh, butt connectors actually do heat shrink, I'm gonna go and do this and then slide over the heat shrink over that um, and then heat shrink that so it's double protected. All right, so that's all buttoned up. I'm gonna go and reinstall my speaker. Alright, so now we're ready to reinstall the door panel. I'm gonna try and hopefully get the shot here, um, but it's a little bit hard trying to hold this. So basically, I have this little uh, retainer ring right in here. Don't worry if you didn't get it on when you already put the wires. I, you can twist this apart and it slides right on. So when we twist this apart, we have this little outer ring and that's gonna go on the outside of the door panel. We're gonna see it from the inside and then this part is all gonna be going in from the back side. So I got that ring slipped through and now I'm gonna put the speaker in there and then rotate it into the inside ring and that way it locks. Now to keep this from holding in place, this is what the metal uh, retainer ring is gonna be for. So we're gonna push that in on the back side 
And to help you get that nice and tight, you can take a flat screwdriver and just kind of work your way around and make sure that this presses in nicely. All right, so once you have that in all the way, we can go and reinstall our door panel. And once this is finally in, you can actually still kind of rotate this because we do have a little bit of wiggle room since we drilled that hole a little bit bigger. And that way we can get the Rockford Phosgate uh, logo to uh, match up nice and level. Another trick you can do is actually just uh, install this without this uh, being attached since it does screw in from the back side. It might be easier so you're not uh, struggling with it right here in the doorway. So that's what I did off camera. I just got this all aligned nicely. So now I'm just going to reinstall the door panel. All right, once that's all clipped in, we can go and screw the rest of the door panel in. All right, so now the door panel is all installed and we're pretty much done here. The only thing you gotta do is just the other side and it's gonna be a mirror image on what we did over here. But as you can see, this little tweeter actually rotates in its housing. So that way you can aim it directly at you and get the best sound out of it. And also since this outer ring is a little bit loose, you can actually rotate it and get that logo. Um, so it's directly in the bottom where it's nice and straight. Now I would like to do a sound test for you guys, but unfortunately I can't do that due to uh, copyright laws and everything. And I don't have any uh, uncopyright music on my phone that I can just plug in right away. So fortunately you guys can't hear, but I can say that they do have a nice crisp high range um, when you're listening to music and it definitely makes a huge improvement. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. As you saw, it's not too difficult to do and it has a nice clean appearance from the inside and it does improve the sound system quite a bit. Now if you haven't already, make sure to check out my other videos on how to replace Jeep Cherokee speakers. I'll leave the link in the description below and at the end of the video. Um, I'll also leave the link in the description below on where you can find these tweeters. But if you guys have any more questions or comments, make sure to post them below and I'll be happy to answer. And if you liked this video and found it helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to the OutGP YouTube channel and it'll help keep these videos coming. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.